Hey everybody, Haku here with a part 2 of 16 Jump Week, and for this one we're going to kick things off with 9 Dragons Ball Parade Chapter 15, move then into Sakamoto Days Chapter 25, then Blue Box Chapter 7, and then Witch Watch Chapter 16, and uh, yeah, again, I'm just still on my mad dash recording things and trying to catch up to things as quickly as I can, uh, so yeah, I guess let's just go ahead no need for a big intro or anything, and jump into Nine Dragons Ball Parade Chapter 15. Hey everyone, Haku here real quick at the beginning of the video before the actual video starts. I'm editing this in like at the end, or well, I mean, I'm recording this at the end, editing it in at the beginning here uh, after the video is almost finished. I messed up when first going through and making this video, and I accidentally left the, um, left the Sakamoto Days thingy in the corner for the whole time that I was doing Witch Watch, and I feel like that would be, at this point in the video uh, making process, kind of a pain to go back and re-overdo that. Um, it would take just more time and stuff since I'm trying to get all these out. So just wanted to apologize for that before the video starts, uh, that I accidentally left that up uh, during the blue box reading. So uh, yeah, just ignore that, I suppose. The chapters will still be along the bar at the bottom of the video uh, for you to see what I'm reading at what time. And of course, there are timestamps uh, in the description. But yeah, sorry about that. Okay, Nine Dragons Ball Parade Chapter 15, the last time we had Shiro Shiratori trying to break the spirits of our main characters, so I guess we're going to uh, see where things go from there. Um, ooh, voice crack. Father. Chapter 15, The Dragon Awakens. My report, sir. In sum, they're not a threat. They have talent, but nothing crazy. They're just chasing a dream, pure and simple. They're a team of cute pets. Is that all? No. Tee hee hee hee. They were so adorable. I couldn't help tormenting them a bit. Good. And tee hee hee hee. What must they be feeling? Again, just the over the top comedic villain nature of these guys. They were having so much fun chasing their dreams with glittering eyes, knowing that their dream will never come true. When I imagine what's happening inside their hearts now, Yes. Why? I feel like bursting into song. Ah, oh, cute, Karin. I see everybody upset, angry. They were enduring. They were resisting. See, I like this though. Instead of getting down, they're going to use it to fuel themselves. And we still need two more members. We're just a bunch of nobodies, drunk in our own foolish dream. They were resisting. The temptation to accept those words. W well, it's it's good that we now have a better sense of Hakuo's level, right? Look at it, er, look at it that way. Even the famous Mr. Giants came back from 11.5 games down to make history. We're just getting started. Mr. Giants is the nickname of Shigo Nagajima, or er, Nakashima. Nagashima, uh, a former baseball player slash manager for the Yomiyori Giants. You have what it takes to hit those pitches, right? Well, it's not that simple. Every pitcher dreams of throwing his ideal pitch, a pitch that nobody's ever seen before, but I never dreamed a pitch could be that fast, sharp, and accurate. Most of all, I know personally how incredible it is to be able to strike out Tsurugi. Now what? Azu. <clears throat> As it stands, we can't beat Hakuo. That's right. I've seen him pitching games on TV many times, but seeing his cutter in person is a whole different thing. Gah, I can't take it. All this whimpering and moping. I hate seeing you like this. I can't hit. We can't win. I can't listen to all this miserable whining. That's it. Go ahead. <laughs> Tearing the ponytail out. Go ahead and spend your whole life feeling sorry for yourselves. Losers. Tsubaki just stomps off all dramatically. Today, we got schooled. We were shown exactly how far away we are from achieving our dream. Did you hear what happened to the baseball team yesterday? Yeah, some hotshot from Hakuo showed up, right? They, or they got totally creamed. Well, talent's talent. It's awfully quiet today, no? 
Huh? Normally these days you can hear the baseball team and director's granddaughter. And we see Cotting out alone on the field. Well, it is what it is. They're still in junior high after all. It must have been a huge shock. No problem. So you got discouraged for a day. I can let that slide. But just for a day, right? Yesterday we got schooled. The dream we've been chasing is still very far away. This is the starting line. So we have to start walking step by step by step. Man, I really love this series so much. It's so good. You're late, she smiles. No, Cuddy, you've got it all wrong. Azukita here made us stay up with him all night collecting data. What? Just like Tsubaki said, there's no point in moping, but Hakubo has better skills and better facilities. If we want to catch up, we'll have to make the proper effort. We reanalyzed swing trajectory, strengths and weaknesses, the physical abilities of the ideal athlete from start to finish. It was super tiring. We were probably disturbing the neighbors a bit, and <laughs> we see them all at the park. S sorry. Then we merged that data with the training meth er, methodology that enabled a squirt like me to make it to the Hakubo tryouts. And voila, there's one for each person, our Nine Dragons training plan. Naturally, I didn't do it alone. We all worked on it together. Wow. But, oh, I don't see one for Tsubaki yet. He hasn't shown up, huh? Don't tell me. Hey, you're all late. I got here early to give you a good talking to. Where have you been, slackers? What's that room? The broadcasting room. We can use it without permission? No. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? At A now, and he's just fighting him for the mic. <laughs> Please, wait a minute. Would you be so kind as to let him mouth off a bit? You think you're doing s- or you think you're so great, don't you, Tsurugi? Well, you were the most pathetic of all. You don't ever let me hear you say you can't hit again. All right, all of you, listen and learn. I'm pretending I don't know you. <laughs> Think CEO, so cute. The reason I can field anything is because I never give up. That's what a genius is. You may not be a genius like me, but the fact that you chose me means you have potential. So, no more whining. Don't give in to doubts and fears. Believe in me. You're strong. I guarantee it. We haven't been moping around. We've been collecting data to move forward. Come on down, Tsubaki. R really? Okay, then. Now we're all here. Tsubaki, sorry we made, er, we made you worry. But we didn't give up, and neither did Tsurugi. We just didn't know how to get where we need to go, so we were at a loss. But Azu showed us the way. Okay, General. Speech. Well, for now, I'm sorry we were late, but I think we have the best plan possible, and everyone here has unlimited potential. That's why we're making this promise. We're all going to get stronger. We're going to train hard enough to take you to Koshien. And then she grabs his hand. Ouch. Sorry, guys. I have no intention of having someone take me to Koshien. I'm going. We are all going. Get ready for Fungo Hell! What? And so, one day passed, and then one month, and now we have the matriculation ceremony, Kokuryuzan er, High School. Spring, full of cherry blossoms, a season full of promise. I love it. I love it, and we still only have seven of our nine dragons. All right, super, super great chapter. Like I've been saying, I actually think this is one of my favorite things to read and jump, and there's a lot that I like to read and jump right now. Uh, but yeah, I love that chapter. Continuing to develop our characters, a lot of really funny and cute moments too. Um, it was great, but either way, that's it. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'm going to move on next to Sakamoto Days Chapter 25. Alright, time for Sakamoto Days Chapter 25, and last time we got a lot of setup for what the rest of this arc is going to be, like with the floor bosses and stuff, which is really, really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, I'm excited to get into what comes next. Uh, we have uh, Chapter 25, um, Science Bastard. When I tried to hit Sheen, I was able to hit the enemy. Uh, or, um, hold on. Met, or... You seemed like you really meant it. Oh, 
I was reading that backwards when they have subtitles right below it. Tehehe, <laughs> the injection in Sakamoto's neck causes him to invert enemies and allies in his brain. Um, basement one boss, Mad Horiguchi. Isn't that fun? He's one tough dude. Well, whatever. Basically, I just have to attack Sheen. Right. Is it only going to work like once at a time, so now he's actually going to hit him? Oh no, because the guy's a switch. That's right. Huh? Why? Mr. Sakamoto! Oh, I actually punched you. Sorry. Cool, right. Er, cool, right? I send the electric signals from this device. I can switch it on and off. I can toggle between enemy and ally, back and forth. Oh, and also... And he injects himself with something. And gets buff. Watch this. Ugh, tacky. Goes for a punch. You're wide open. Some people never learn. Huh? And he kicks Sakamoto. Nice kick. Oh, thank you. And he injects himself in the leg. Goes for another attack. That's fast. Yo, he just launches him through the window. That hurt like hell. Whoopsie, you're so light you went straight through the glass. Then Sakamoto goes to attack him with a um, magnifying glass. Er, yeah. Yes. Right? Right? Or is there another word for that specific type of magnifying glass? Oh god, I feel like there is and I'm an idiot for forgetting it. Oh god. Oh god, I'm just gonna move on. I've embarrassed myself enough. Nice try. When your brain thinks you're attacking your partner, it automatically pulls the punch. See? Even the legendary hitman is rendered helpless by science. Whatever, I just have to read your mind. Er, if I figure out the on and off. Ha, so, what if you can read my mind? And he goes and injects him a bunch more. A lot of, er, a lot of good it does you to read minds if you can't control your body. What a stupid ability. Oh, or maybe he was just stabbing him for the hell of it. I'm so sorry. I got you mixed up in my stupid research. I have no idea why the Chief has any interest in such a worthless ability. It's so lame. I'm not impressed at all. Stupid, huh? Come on, Sheen. Get up. Mr. Sakamoto, don't mess up your clothes too bad. They'll be a pain to wash later. Huh? Also, Shin's powers aren't stupid. I'll prove that to you now. Mr. Sakamoto, it's really hard to relate when there's such a huge IQ gap. Okay, so his plan must be to think, like, to think a plan so that he and Sheen will be able to communicate and be on the same wavelength without this guy knowing what the two of them are thinking. Time to kill you. It hurts so good. Initiate final experiment. Very tiny dick energy. Now what, Mr. Sakamoto? It's simple. Huh? For real? There's no use attacking me. You'll just keep hurting your partner. Ready? Yes. Ah, interesting. So we have Sheen moving and dodging in a way that lets Sakamoto hit this guy. It looks like. I see, by attacking all targets at the same time, the attacks land even if I flip the switch. But why am I the only one who's getting hit? Yeah, of course, he's using the ability to his advantage so the two of them can communicate. Alright. You humanities types. Hurts so good. I thought I was gonna die. Boss one, Matt Horiguchi, defeated. Hold still. Okay, and we have the stuff getting removed by the scientist there. Electrode extracted. Thanks. Sheen, thank you for saving us. Especially after how we treated you in the past. Oh, that's all good. I like my abilities and where I am now. That's great. Dang, you may be retired, but I'm still excited I managed to dodge the legendary Mr. Sakamoto's attacks. 
with you being fat, your punches pack even more of a... And he just gets stabbed in the jaw in his mind. Why'd you just imagine killing me? No need to mention my weight. Cute. Fun. Alright, another really, really great chapter, of course. I really like that. That was a fun fight. I'm excited to, uh, to see even more as the art goes on. But uh, yeah, I guess that's it for Sakamoto Days. Pretty quick this time. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and move on to Blue Box. Okie dokes, Blue Box Chapter 7. Uh, excited for this one? We've got a really cool cover frontispiece piece here. I like it. It's um, Chinatsu and Hina. Chapter 7, You'll Be Fine. I am on Chapter 7, right? Just making sure I'm not... Yeah, I just read 6 last time. Okay. Just double-checking, making sure I wasn't on the wrong chapter. Huh. The kids' toys in the background are, like, really weird, though. Oh, well. You were so close. Pretty impressive run in the second half. But you should be happy. You may have lost a hot of you, but with the record you've got, I think you'll make the team. You sure don't look happy. Well, I lost. Of course I'm not going to be happy. Even the points that I got in the second half, well, that's just how badminton is. Felt like I barely got them. How do you set the pace of the entire match? I knew how do you was tough, but it's still really frustrating. So yeah, that's what he said. He's got a lot of nerve. I'm the one who's frustrated. Why, you won. Because at the end... Never mind. Now I gotta know. Oh well, of course things wouldn't go my way. I was taking on Haryu after all. Whether it's skill, speed, or strength, I'm behind no er, behind in all of those areas. I have to play more aggressively. I gotta read my opponent and adjust my returns accordingly, and then pounce on the easy shots. I have to gain more experience in order to pull that off. Practice alone is far from enough. Taiki, follow me. This is Chinatsu. Chinatsu Senpai? The sun will be setting soon, so hurry up. Wait, where are we going? Someplace great. Sign, the park is for everybody, please follow the rules. I'll admit, this is a really nice place, but why'd you bring me to the park? Well, I'll tell you. Check it out, I borrowed them. Why'd you borrow badminton rackets? Just give me a moment. You said so yourself, that we should play sometime. This will be our court. And she's marking out a court on the ground. She remembered. Besides, I thought maybe you'd want to practice more, Taiki. Personally, I feel the most antsy to play right after a game. I thought the same might be true for you. That's exactly what I was feeling. It feels so wonderful having somebody who understands you. Here goes. And she completely misses. You can't even hit it. And he's trying not to laugh. It's not that. I'm just not good at serving. I can rally it back and forth, though. You're moving your left hand too much. Only use it to drop the shuttlecock. Let the racket do the work. Oh. Just as I'd expect from someone on the badminton team... You look way too surprised about that. At this rate, er, this will turn into a practice session for me. We should be doing more smashes and stuff. It's okay. I got to the shuttlecock plenty enough in my match. By the way, I was watching your match against Haryu. Please erase that from your memory. Why? Why else? It's embarrassing for me. I mean, I lost. Hardly. Like, at the very end, you nailed some really solid smashes. That's true, but still... At the interval of the second set, it was 11-4. to 4. By the time it got to 21 points from that, how do you score 10 points? And you got 11, Taiki. Huh? But a loss is still a loss. The fact that I barely scored in the first half says a lot about my ability. No matter how many points I scored in the second half, the result was that I lost. And she laughs. What are you smiling about? Sorry, sorry. Taiki, you're really competitive. When anyone points out anything about your moves in practice, don't hit with your upper body. Just use your legs more. Okay. That's all you work on during morning practice the next day. And in your match against Haryu, it's because you never gave up that you scored all those points in the second half. Getting so many compliments makes me feel uncomfortable. So it'll be okay. Don't worry, Taiki. You'll be fine. I love this two-page spread here. I love that. Lacking in ability as I am, it's incredibly difficult for me to believe in myself. Next time I'll win. And yet, anything the person I like says is so easy to believe. That's the spirit. 
Oh, it's from Yukiko. My mom? She's asking what time we'll be home. Chee. Don't tell me. How do you went so far as to gift her a chi? Oh, I got this from my friends in class. Everyone there calls me chi. So it's not something specially reserved only for how do you. Though the ability to call her chi still makes him a seated school te or like a seated school team. Chinatsu senpai has always been really approachable. What do you say we start heading home? Maybe right now she really doesn't have any interest in romance. You go on ahead without me. After all. There will be a ton of foot traffic on the way. This place is okay because it's more secluded. And it may not or it may not mean much to you, but to return to the same house with a girl is pretty embarrassing for me. Huh? I'll be practicing my swings in the meanwhile. It may not mean much to you. Oh. So that's how it looks like to him. That was really good. That was a really good chapter. It reminds me a lot of the one where it was just him and uh, Hina talking almost the whole chapter. I like that one a lot. Especially, like, the art is kind of like... I don't know. I I never like to say art is, like, good or not good because it's, like, such a stylistic thing where there's some things that a lot of people probably don't think look good that I think look amazing. Um, and there are probably other things that people think look amazing that I'm not that into. I always think the art for Blue Box isn't really all that great. But I really, really, really liked it this week. So, yeah. Overall, really good one. I also like the way the um, the paneling was done, especially for some of the pages. It was, like, really nice and easy to follow, but it didn't feel, like, boring and blocky and, like, just the same flow again and again, page after page, like a lot of manga can get into. Uh, it felt pretty unique. So yeah, actually got a lot of praise for Blue Box this week. It looks really nice. But uh, yeah, that's it. Going to move on now to finish out the video with Witch Watch Chapter 16. Finishing the end of Jump Week now with Chapter 16 of Witch Watch. Uh, let's see what we got this time around. We have Nico giving somebody a magic bracelet at the beginning, it looks like. That should do it. Thanks, Wakatsuki. Just a reminder, this isn't a proper spell. It's just a charm. It or it won't guarantee that romance will blossom. I know, that's fine. There's something about a charm made by a real witch that seems like it'll be effective. Thanks again. I already feel a lot braver. Of course, I hope your confession works out. Let me know if you get a boyfriend, and we have the sky watching on. Um, Wokatsuki, do you have a minute? Uh, chapter 16, Under the Lover's Tree, Part 1. So this is, I think, our first Part 1 and 2 so far, I think. Uh, a boy asked you out. His name, er, kind of. His name is Ishii. He wants to talk at lunch during our upcoming field trip. Come on, he's totally gonna confess to you. Of course not. I mean, we don't even know each other. Ah, this girl doesn't get anything. Anything. Listen, right now, Nico the Witch is one of the biggest celebs in the whole school. You can use magic. You're cheerful and friendly, and to top it all off, you're cute. C cute Um... Kata, are you drunk? And if he's asking you out on the field trip, it can only mean one thing. What's that? The Asanaru High Famous or er, Asanaru High Famous Tradition blossoms out of season at Mount Futatsu's Great Sacred Fig Tree. I don't understand the language he's speaking, Cuckoo. Could you trans or er, could you explain? Our school always goes to Mount Futatsu for um, field trips, and it has a tree that's famous among students. It's a lover's tree. They say that if a boy and a girl have lunch under its branches, they'll get together. A lover's tree, huh? It's basically an excuse for people to confess their people to confess to their crushes. It's no big deal. Nope, not a big deal. You really want to fall in love, huh? Yeah, that does sound like a great excuse, says Khan just eating up in a tree. How about you just confess to Morihito? Bwah, me and Mori on the field trip? Money, 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 money. You're trying to be Dio? So, you're going to help everybody else with their love lives, but totally ignore your own. Scon. Again, I love their friendship. I'm not the kind of girl that Moi would give that sort of attention to anyway. I constantly mess up. He probably sees me like a little sister. Besides, I should be focusing on my training. I don't have time to waste pursuing love. Not until I become a full-fledged witch, at least. Are you an athlete now? 
Quit trying to act all cool. You ain't pulling the wool over my eyes. Trying to make it sound like you're some athlete focusing on their sport. So love's not in the cards. That's an excuse. Oh, I, but Khan, confessing is so scary. I can't. You have to help me. I've lived with Moy long enough to know he's just not interested in me. I've tried flirting with him super obviously, but he always gives me this blank look. I've never seen anyone's eyes look that empty. Oh, I getcha. Trust me. I brought up the subject to Morihito once. You know what he said? We're familiars. That's our duty to protect Nico. A bodyguard having special feelings for their VIP only hinders their ability to do their job. His eyes were as blank as voids. Ack, when did you do that? Don't do this to me, Khan. His nerves are as steely as his muscles. Then, to top that off, he has a stupidly serious personality. Um, he's so committed to his duty, he's convinced himself he's not allowed to look at you romantically. But I can tell that you're more special to him than anyone. Yeah, but only as a familiar and a witch. Nope, I bet you he's got real feelings for you, he just doesn't know it, because he's buried him under all that duty stuff. And, in that case, we'll have, er, all we'll have to do is shake him hard enough that he does notice. And so, the day of the field trip. Take your time, everyone. Go only as fast as you want to. Ain't no need to rush. Go at your own pace, and maybe even smell some roses. What are you talking about, Miss Makawa? Isn't that a line from some manga? Miss Makawa, you're quoting manga again. Er, that was the famous line from Captain Fuwa, er, of Captain Fuwa's in U.M., Thinks, um, Cuckoo. Hey, Moy, how about we chat, er, chat while we walk? Sure. A boy invited you to meet him under the lover's tree? And she nods. Oh, great. His expression is just as blank as always. Did I manage to shake him or not? Got it. I'll keep my distance during that time. I won't follow you, so feel free to do whatever you like. Wait, that's not what I meant. D don't you mind at all? A boy might confess to me. Not particularly, No. Even if I get a boyfriend, he probably doesn't care because he already knows Ishii and what he's planning to ask. Listen, Nico, I'm happy for you. You're getting to enjoy life, not as a witch, but as a normal girl having a normal high school career. I am having fun in high school. Tons and tons of fun. I'm not the same bullied girl I was when we were kids. She stomps off. I like these panels. Lunchtime. Alright, um, it says the lover's tree is this way. I have to make sure to say no to Ishii. Ah, uh, over there. And it's just a huge crowd. Not romantic at all. Holy crap, is it crowded. Yikes, look at all the romance-minded people here. This is actually kind of intimidating. I feel like I've wandered into a very dangerous place. We have a bunch of people with signs cheering people on. Why does this look like the arrivals gate of an airport? Oh no, it's not that they have signs cheering people on. It's all the people planning to confess to people they've invited there. Oh my god, that's hilarious. I have to find Ishii. He's supposed to be here somewhere. Wakatsuki over here. Aha, there he is. Thanks so much for coming all the way here. Niko Wakatsuki and co. How many of you are there? Um, what... Ishii, why do you have a whole tour group with you? Sorry, I mentioned I was meeting with you, and a bunch of my friends said they wanted to come too. Oh my gosh, all these people confessing to me? Please, cast that love charm on us, they all ask. Or not. Wait, what? That charm? Oh my gosh, this is embarrassing, but, but why here? If you cast a charm spell under a tree that's already a love charm, it'll be twice as effective. No, it won't. That isn't the way it works. Who spread that rumor? Location has nothing to do with it. I heard it's guaranteed to make them fall for you. Yeah, I heard magic can make us look hot, too. The rumors are getting exaggerated to a scary degree. I, I can't be responsible for this. And she runs off. She ran. Wait, please, the charm. Money, 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 money. I have to hide somewhere. And Smallin. Okay. Huh? She vanished. Where'd she go? Phew. Now, to get away from them while I have a chance. She flies off. Sheesh, that was exhausting. I wish I'd stayed with Moy and eaten our lunch instead. She runs into somebody. Oof. Oopsie. Whose pocket am I in? It's Moy's. Who's he talking to? A girl? And she looks really nervous. Oh gosh, don't tell me. Otagi, I'd like it if you could go out with me. Moy is getting confessed too. What's he going to say? Okay, so we get Cliff hung. That was funny and cute. Kind of 
kind of exactly how I expected that to go, honestly. Um, so funny and cute, though. So I am interested to see where things go next week. I'm kind of torn, though. On the one hand, I kind of want Moe to live his life and to actually have a girl he likes and stuff. Um, so if he were to say yes to this girl, I wouldn't hate it. But then again, I feel like, of course, like, romance plot armor, um, he's going to have to say, no, he's not interested, and it's just going to leave us in kind of the same place we were before. Um, so yeah, I don't know. We'll see how next week goes. I I'm torn between wanting him to maybe, like, have a development that's outside of the usual, because, I mean, right now it seems very blatantly obvious that it's just going to be Nico and Moy ending up together, but if they took us on a swerve and had him with this other girl at least for a while, that would be different. Um, so I kind of would like that in the sense that it would really just take me out of my expectations and could be really interesting. Um, but at the same time, I also just, like, know in my heart of hearts that that's, like, not happening. Uh, but yeah, either way, I guess that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like if you did like the video, comment down there too. Tell me what you thought of all of these chapters and my thoughts and reactions. Subscribe for more of all these and much, much more on the channel. Follow on Twitter if you want. If you want to link to the Discord server, ask and I'll give you one because it's free and open for anyone. And if you would like to help support the channel on Patreon, it's patreon.com slash Haku of the Tubes or a link will be in the description. But either way, that's it. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.